Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's 8.30 and we are back at the airport. Uh, today is a super exciting day. We're going to fly to Nutri in Vacaville, where we are going to tour the Icon aircraft factory uh, where the A5 is made. Um, I'm not sure yet how much of the factory I can actually show you and what their policy is on filming, um, but I hope to get at least some footage for you. It's about a 45 minute flight and we need to be there between 9.30 and 9.45. Uh, as I said, it's 8.30, so plenty of time. Uh, the weather is clear. We do have clouds at uh, 15,000 feet, but that's obviously much higher than where we are going to fly. One interesting thing is we need to cross Travis Air Force Base um, and their airspace together with the two alert areas that they have there. Um, but uh, more on that once we're in the air. So let's jump into the plane and get going. Three two tower Mason X ray, one five four seven Zulu, wind calm, visibility one zero, sky clear, temperature three, two point minus one, altimeter three zero one five. Our nav Zulu runway to right, approach use, landing parting runway to right, runway to left. Retail view ground, Skyhawk 2129 to Charlie is in front of train trends, uh, ready to taxi and would like to get flight following to Nutri, Victor, Charlie, Bravo. And we have X ray. Cessna 290 Charlie, runway 3 on right, taxi via Zulu. 3 on right via Zulu, 290 Charlie. It's a beautiful morning. Today there's clouds at uh, 15,000 feet. Um, I barely see any, uh, at least around the airport. Um, the few clouds that are there are going to burn off in the next uh, hour or so. Retrieve the tower, Skyhawk 2129 Charlie, holding short of 3 on right, ready for departure. 290 Charlie, runway 3 on right, clear for takeoff, right turn out of proof. Uh, three and right, clear for takeoff, and right turn out to proof to 209 Charlie. Right, final looks clear. Landing lights go on, mixture goes rich. It's three and right confirmed. Uh, takeoff power is set. Engine instruments are all in the green. Airspeed is alive. Model is looking good. 50, there's 55. Rotate, and we're already airborne. Nice, I love flying this plane. Definitely my favorite one. Good autopilot, nice flying capable, it's like feels good. This is great. November 29, Charlie, traffic 12 o'clock, two miles maneuvering, 3,500 indicated. Uh, looking for traffic and request climb to 6,500, turn on Charlie. Can I call you approved? Alright, so we got approved for 6,500. Um, I didn't expect him to have a problem with that, but um, just let him know up front because there's a lot of airliners around here. Uh, my understanding is we're past them, so that's why I always stay a bit lower here because if I don't, they almost always uh, give me that uh, stay below 4,500. Time to brief the approach a little bit. Um, I already mentioned it during the uh, takeoff briefing. We're going to cross over Travis Air Force Base, over their airspace. 2328, clear to my toe, maintain five um, Which to goes up to 2600. That's not the problem, but there are two alert areas around uh, them. And the later one goes up to 6000. Not sure where we are going, is right after the uh, alert area. So we're going to get headed off to them. Uh, and as soon as we are, I'm going to ask them if the alert areas are active. If they're not active, we can start descending in the alert area, which makes the approach much nicer. If the alert area is active, we need to go, I'm going to go over above 6,000, and then do like a turning descent on the other side. Number 2129 Charlie, connect Travis, 119.9er, good day. 119.9er, 219 er Charlie, thanks. Travis approach, Skyhawk, 219 er Charlie, 6500. Skyhawk, 219 er Charlie, Travis approach, have felt altimeter 3015. 3015, and uh, question, are the alert areas active? Number 29er Charlie, uh, it is active, but you can descend through it. Uh, okay, 29er uh, Charlie. So, active, but we can descend through it, that's what he said, so either there is no flight activity at all, which would match ADS-B, although technically they don't have to use that, because uh, it's the military. Um, but either way, he'll be looking out for us, and like we're on frequency, they know we're there, um, so all good. So we start our descent uh, in a bit, actually. Nut Tree Airport, Vacaville, California. 
Automated weather observation 1728 Zulu. Wind 350 at 12. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 12 Celsius. Dew point minus 02 Celsius. Altimeter 3018. Remark. Skyline 211 up level 4000. Minus 500. November 2129er Charlie Travis approach. Uh, contact Travis North 126.6. 126.6, uh, 2129er Charlie. Two. Travis North, uh, 212, Skyrock 2129er Charlie, uh, so 5300 descending. Number 2129 Charlie, Travis approach, altimeter 3015. And uh, just for information, sir, I got numerous aircraft, uh, VFR aircraft in the vicinity of Nutshire Airport. I had about two arrivals a uh, second ago and then uh, two more before that. All right, thanks for the info, 219 Charlie. And at 29 Charlie, once you have the one minute weather in the field inside, I'm going to switch you over to advisories. Uh, we do have the weather already. Copy all, sir, let me know when you have the field. Uh, field inside, 219 Charlie. All right, 29 Charlie, radar, sir, turn Scorpio VR and change to advisory. Frequency is approved. Talk to you later. Uh, Scorpio VR and over to advisory. Uh, thanks for the help, 219 Charlie. Uh, not three traffic, Scott, 29 Charlie is uh, five miles to the uh, south. Uh, we're going to cross midfield at 1,100 and join left now with uh, 0 2 not three. Not three traffic, Scott, 29 Charlie is midfield entering left down with uh, 0 2 not three. Nutri traffic, Skyhawk 29 Charlie turning left downward to 02, uh, Nutri. Nutri traffic, uh, Skyhawk 29 Charlie turning final 02, Nutri. Nutri traffic, Skyline 211 Alpha November, we're about uh, 7 miles to the southwest. Uh, Going to be overflying field, enter downwind, Nutri. Is that Michael Ox on the frequency? Uh, affirmative. <laughs> That's the first. Alright, we're too high, so let's lose some altitude here quickly. Now we'll get slowed down. And we go flaps full immediately. Runway is long enough. here. Scar 29 Charlie is uh, taxiing on the active runway all the way to the end, uh, heading to uh, Icon, uh, not dream. The Icon Aircraft Factory is located at Nutri Airport. I could park my plane directly in front of the factory and after a quick coffee we were ready to start the tour. The Icon A5 is an eye-catcher and certainly doesn't look much like any other plane when you see it with its wings folded up. The cockpit looks more like that of a car than that of a plane, but the concept of the A5 is appealing. A large number of Icon's customers do not have a pilot's license when they purchase the A5. Icon's mission is to get more people into aviation. But the A5 is also interesting for other reasons. The amphibious nature and the fact that you can put it on a trailer like a boat means you can fly this plane almost everywhere and even take it with you on a road trip. The factory tour was very interesting and everyone at Icon was extremely nice and accommodating. It was fun chatting with everyone and aside from the finished plane, it was really interesting to see the final testing steps of the manufacturing process as well as an early prototype of the A5 that was used for a lot of the initial testing. After a nice lunch, unfortunately, it was already time to head back. Alright, engine instruments in the green. All looking good, 55.
All right, we're at cruising altitude 5,500. Quick hop back, 27 minutes back to retail view from here on. I hope you enjoyed the uh, pictures. Unfortunately, they didn't allow videos in the factory. Um, it was a really cool tour. Um, I really like the aircraft. The fact that it's amphibious is amazing. Uh, you can just land pretty much everywhere with this thing. It's a light sport, so you don't even need a seaplane rating for it. Uh, it's just an endorsement that you get for that, apparently. Uh, I think the biggest downside is that it's kind of slow cruising. They said cruising speed is uh, uh, something between 80 or 90, 90 or something. Um, so I think if you want to do like actual like just adventure getting out in your area, it's perfect. So yeah, it was interesting to see. I love how like airplanes are still these like one-off builds. It's nothing close to how like car manufacturing works or something. So yeah, I really liked it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it too. I'll head back to retail you now and um, uh, see you in the next video. Bye.